What the living fuck is happening? Hey everybody, what's up? Welcome back to the Games Cage. Today, I want to talk about the crazy news. I mean, it's not even that crazy anymore that Xbox Game Pass could potentially be coming to Switch alongside some Nintendo, some Microsoft published games. So, let's talk about this rumor. So, it's a rumor started by Direct Feed Games who have previously been accurate with Microsoft and Nintendo rumors. So I'm going to read what they've said here, right? So the news says that Microsoft is looking into directly publishing some of its games on the Nintendo Switch alongside Game Pass. One game specifically mentioned is Ori and the Blind Forest, a low prime a low profile Microsoft exclusive blah, 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 that doesn't matter. So this is fucking crazy, right? Because for a while now we've known that apparently Xbox Live is coming to Switch, which is the um, just, you know, that your whole achievement system from Xbox and having your profile there and all this stuff. But that is much more enhanced when you factor in that Game Pass, which for those of you that don't know, Game Pass is essentially uh, Xbox's Netflix service, where basically you pay like 10, 15 bucks a month and you have access to a lineup of games that you can download or just play on the service. So this would be a way to give Switch some more third-party games by streaming them, right? Because obviously you wouldn't be able to download, let's say, Gears 5 on your Switch. But if you're able to, if you have a great connection, you can just stream that game. Now, what's even bigger than that is that Microsoft is looking into publishing their games on Nintendo Switch. Like a game like Ori and the Blind Forest, they want to specifically just port that to the Nintendo Switch, which is, it's so weird what reality we live in, right? Like. We've grown up our entire lives to just be like, no, Xbox is their thing, PlayStation's their thing, Nintendo's their thing. They don't touch each other, they don't talk to each other. And then we've had this generation like having crossplay start, right, and cross save for certain games. And now we're hearing stuff like Microsoft wanting to put games on Nintendo Switch. This benefits both Nintendo and Microsoft. So let's talk about how this benefits Nintendo. This makes the Switch somehow even more of a seller right because then you're gonna have a console that has nintendo's incredible first party lineup the third party exclusives you're gonna have the indie games that are coming like every week every week every week and then you might potentially be having microsoft games that you can stream from the clouds so, like technically you could say the switch has cuphead the switch has ori and the blind forest it could have sunset overdrive Get Fucking Halo. The fact that there's a world where you could see footage of someone sitting on the Nintendo Switch and playing the Master Chief Collection is crazy. But what's crazy is it doesn't sound crazy anymore because just how much Xbox is really evolving, right? That I've heard some people say, like, so Xbox is basically going third party. I don't think Xbox is going third party. I just think Xbox, they're thinking so much more... They're thinking bigger, right? They're thinking bigger than the rest of the people. I think they're much more forward thinking than the rest, right? They want people to simply be in the Xbox ecosystem. They want you, they want to give you options, right? So they're going to release probably next year and in the next year or two, their big powerful console, the Xbox Scarlet. So that'll be for the people that want high fidelity graphics downloads and shit. We have the big rumor that they're going to be releasing a console that has no disc that you can just cloud stream uh, games from, right? Then we have uh, their Project X Cloud, which is their streaming service that they want to have on Nintendo Switch and on Xbox. And now you have stuff like Xbox Live coming to mobile and Nintendo Switch so that achievements you get from, uh, let's say, Minecraft can go to your Xbox account from your Switch. And now hearing... Game Pass could be coming to Switch and that they're publishing games on Switch shows. They just want you to be in the Xbox ecosystem no matter where you are or what you're doing. So I just think this is a genius idea. It really is seeing step one into the future. Also, what's notable about this rumor is they're saying that this could be seen as soon as this year. I don't know if it's gonna specifically like happen this year, but they're saying that it's going to be seen as soon as this year. And I just think... First of all, I believe this a thousand percent. Like, I think a, a rumor this bold like this is is just there's no way it's not true. And based on everything that uh, EA, uh, well, uh, based on everything Microsoft has been doing and and how they've been very buddy buddy with Nintendo, this isn't shocking, right? So, and I and I honestly bet I bet Xbox would put this on PlayStation, but PlayStation is the, is the one that doesn't want to. 
play nice with them. They do still see them as very much direct competitors. Whereas when Microsoft is like, you know what? Let's just do our thing, generate the biggest revenue we can by being on the most platforms possible. So this is so genius and so forward thinking, but it's also just mind blowing. Like it blows my mind that technically I could play the Devil May Cry 5 if it's on Game Pass and play that on my Switch because of, because I'm streaming it. And it's going to blow my mind if I get to play a ported version of Ori and the Blind Forest that Microsoft publishes. This also tells me we're for sure going to see the Banjo games on Switch. I wouldn't be shocked if like Rare Replay gets put on Switch. So it's like this is some crazy shit. It's, it's something we haven't seen in our lifetime as gamers. So I just can't wait to see when it happens, what's the reaction, what's happening. I just, it's crazy. Like, we are living in crazy times, but I'm all for it. I think this is forward thinking. I think this is beneficial for Nintendo because they get to now have a console with their games and third party stuff and Microsoft stuff. And then Microsoft benefits because everyone's just part of their ecosystem. So I think this is awesome. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Crazy times, man. Subscribe, like, all that jazz, and peace out. I'll see y'all next time.